Hello guys and welcome back to another week of building Kashyyyk. As you can probably see in the background, we have quite a lot of progress. I know that's the backside, so you can't really see exactly what I've done so far. So you've got to stay tuned throughout the whole video to see everything I get done. Because I think personally, this is one of my favourite episodes that I've done on Kashyyyk so far. So, so yeah, if you're new to the series, this is the series where I'm recreating the scene from Jedi Fallen Order on Kashyyyk, where Cal visits that giant Imperial refinery. And basically, this is going to be one of the best episodes. We're adding lights, we're adding some really intricate floor details, as well as the start of the actual interior of the base. I can't wait for this one. I hope you guys are going to be excited for it. If you are, make sure to leave a like and also smash that subscribe button. These episodes come out every Saturday. You don't want to miss them. So yeah, I definitely recommend you hit that post notification bell so you can stay up to date on every video I do, including these weekly Kashyyyk episodes. But without further ado, let's get straight into the episode. So to begin this episode, I went ahead and removed this dark bluish gray wall here as well as a few other areas and replaced it with light bluish gray there. And we also are starting to work out where this moving door is going to be. I'm going to have a nice mechanism in here and I'm going to get this entire section nice and built up. So here you can see I'm adding a little sort of wall light sort of thing uh, as you'd see on different Death Star walls and stuff like that and Star Destroyer walls. I'm then building this up even more and now you can see this bit's already pretty much set in stone now. This is looking pretty good. Now I just have to replicate it on the other side and start to build upwards above this now this is a look from the other side you can see with these two gray walls on either side it looks a lot better than the uh, the dark bluish gray did I think in my opinion it just looks a lot more finished and then we went ahead and replicated this on the other side so we went ahead and built this wall technique this nice nice little window technique I was inspired by Rich Boy Jay's recent episode of Camino to do this it's a really nice design I love the way it looks and it really mimics that Star Destroyer wall design really really nicely I might try and add some lights in behind here but later on in the episode we're going to have a lot more lights coming in at different places so this is going to be awesome but yeah, we got this managed to be built up pretty well. And then you see where the light, dark bluish gray line is. That's where the actual door is going to be very, very shortly. So that's going to be cool. We're going to work on that this episode as well. And then we went ahead and just worked on a bit more here and tried to raise it up a little bit more. After this, I removed a few plates and stuff here and actually went on and tried to work on a bit of the floor design. So I wanted to have some snot mixed in with some regular tiles and stuff like this to go under where the actual door is going to go. And I thought this was really nice. I managed to come up with a few very, very basic designs for the snot floor right here you can see I just made a prototype and then I started to work on a few different angles and a few different cheese slopes and designs that would work here and I think this looks all right I'm not too sure whether this is perfect but I think it would look pretty cool as I sort of merge it into further patterns down the line in the hallway but yeah it's looking pretty good right here I then went ahead and attached the actual piece above it so everything's all fixed together now which looks really really nice and you can see here we have now added lights so I've jumped ahead a little bit here I didn't get too many clips just right there but we have now got lights in here looking really good if we we move the minifigs out of the way we also have the doors in the back section and this is looking fantastic if I do say so myself these doors will be automated and motorized so they can open and close just like so but obviously right now I have to do it with my fingers but yeah you can see these are gonna look really really nice especially with a nice hallway built in behind there I think this is gonna be fantastic and I can't wait to get more work done on this so now you can see I've got the lights attached a little bit better in here the wires all go down and underneath the actual top layer so now I have the light switch under there so now I can basically just separate these two base plates and flick the lights on and off whenever I want to. I'm going to be adding more lights in here in just a second, but this is looking pretty good if I do say so myself. So next, if you remember last week, I actually managed to get the first wall piece sort of like built in and set up. You can see that there on the right. And now I've gone ahead and got the right angle and everything set up ready to go for the left piece. You can see we've got those hinges all connected in. Now I just need to build it up and connect it, but it's all looking seamless at the front as well, which is looking really good. And I'm glad this all fits really nicely and is now at the same angle as the left hand wall as well. So now you may have noticed a couple of extra wires running up there to the top here as well as to the other side there as well and running down here. We now have the lights ready to go. These strip lights are going to go further down the hallway just so we have a bit of light further back and these are ready to be wired in. But if we switch around to the other side, you see these little red dots right here. These are two extra red lights that are just going to add a little bit more detail. You can see now with them on, they look a little bit better right here. We just have an extra bit of detail right there. I think it looks really nice and I genuinely am happy with this. So now started to build up the base a little bit higher and you can see here we've made, managed to raise the wall even more. Basically, I added these nice slopes in here. This is basically a little bit of a prototype. I don't know whether I'll keep this exactly how it is, but we have these nice pieces. We have lots of pieces here. We have these basically ladder pieces and I found a way to insert them in halfway back. I basically have them sitting flush with the wall rather than overhanging, which I think looks nice. We've got some trans red behind them. Then we have these grills. I think they look pretty good right there, just using some panel pieces. And then, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this area here. I think I will have it sort of like slanting back 
back. I think a good idea would be, obviously it's sticking out a, bit a little bit now, but a good idea would be just above these uh, pieces right here to have it sort of slanting, similar to, Lee, what, similar to what I did down here at this bit here, where we have it sort of setting uh, a little bit at a little bit of an angle using cheese slopes and stuff. But I also wanted to say a huge shout out and thank you to my friend Beanie who sent me this awesome sig fig to use in the mock. If anyone wants to send over their sig figs in Stormtrooper armor, definitely send them over to me. Hit me up on Instagram or something like that um, and he will be included in the mock. He also sent me some awesome pieces to use in Kashyyyk as well. But I have another time lapse for you here guys quickly. So we're going to go ahead and replace all those cheese slopes and raise them up by one plate. This deemed a little bit harder than I thought it would be just because a few areas are a little bit wobbly over on the other side. But sit back and enjoy the time lapse and I'll cut back in afterwards. So now with that being done, you can now see it's all at the same level and we're now going to go ahead and work on these three panels right here. So they are very, very plain. You can see we just have these prototypes. I like to fill the gaps and get them done and then we can go back in and add details afterwards. So we're going to go ahead and add some mud splatters and stuff like this just so then it will look the same as the ones we've already done on the other platform. So now the last thing I'm going to do this week is add a few muddy details into these prototypes I made last week, I think in the last episode. So we're going to go ahead and add in a couple of details, sit back and enjoy the time lapse quickly and I'll cut back in in just a second. Second. And there we go, we have more mudder details all along the wall now and all along the floor. And then we also worked on this. Now this took me forever to work out. This is a giant arrow basically pointing in or out of the base depending on which way I rotate it. But I am super happy with this. It took forever to do. You can see, again, that 45 degree angle with cheese slopes is super hard. So I'm really proud of this and I definitely would love to hear what you guys think of this because genuinely it's one of the best bits of snot work I think I've ever done. And yeah guys, that is it for this week's episode of Building Kashyyyk. I'm really happy with the progress. I know I didn't get a ton of footage this video might not have been the longest, but honestly, I feel like I've done an absolute ton of progress. I had to pretty much rip down that entire doorway, build it all back up, as well as fixing in all the different walls and things like that, and getting the lights wired in, and working on some different areas in front of the actual base and on the landing platform as well. So I'm really happy. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. I'd really be interested to hear your feedback, whether it's good, whether it's bad or productive. I'd love to hear it in the comment section. So definitely leave your comments down there. And also whilst you're down there, leave a like on the video and smash that subscribe button as well. It does help. We're really getting closer and closer to 30,000 subscribers now. I know I've been saying it every video, but we're really pushing for that right now. And it would be really appreciated if you could hit that subscribe button. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I will see you next week. Goodbye.